okay so this video is a continuation of a video i uploaded yesterday this is the part two and on that video i said i was so no i was not bored i just wanted to do like a sit down a chit chat so i told myself okay go on go, go. Go and search for the common problems that every human being is facing. It's percent people, <laughs> black, white, purple, yellow, the problems that we are all facing. Okay, so and I said somebody did a list and the person listed out 20 points, and I've done two. That was a previous video I uploaded, so I did two and on this video we're going to do three and four probably with five okay so let me read it out three says subjection to other people's judgments hmm. my 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 for the past five years that i saw this that particular sticker i'll be wallpaper it has been like my motto for the past five years that illusion of validation that subjection to people's judgment i have been trying to break that one i have been working on this thing like validation is something that we shouldn't be living by nobody is supposed to validate anybody nobody is supposed to tell anybody to do anything not because of the fact you work for them or because they are your spouses your partner or your partner's parents or they are some elders or your parents nobody is supposed to validate anybody we are not here for validation we're not here to accept other people's validation we are here to validate ourselves okay so subjections to people's judgment is something i could relate to before in my life i could relate to that but I've been on it for like too long five years now and i think at this point there are a lot of things that i don't look forward for validation like i don't look towards like i don't look at people to give me validations for first of all i started going for my looks i stop allowing people's judgments determine how i feel about my looks okay i i used to have acne before so this is why i actually went on the the journey of validating myself like the journey of discovering that i don't have to rely on anybody's judgment i don't need to s subject myself to anybody's judgment is the fact i had acne like almost all my teenhood my pretend to my teenage and to my even my adulthood i had acne so i got to the point in my life where i was like mm -mm, no more babe no more okay so just stop listening to that i like it's it, when people talk to me it bounces like it, i don't know i don't hear it like the war is too strong right now the war i have built for myself it's just too strong i advise you if you're still there please and please it is something you should work on because it's not magic okay it's not going to take one day you cannot wake up one morning and say yeah this is it now it takes time okay because there are a lot of things that we all look up to people to validate us for even when we do, we subconsciously do it there is a lot of things and some people actually even look out like you should look for their validation like people give you that audacity like they give you that yes like shh, i am somebody that i have to validate you like i have to tell you that this is not nice i can tell you that you should do it this way my own way like people look out they have the audacity when i see people like that let me not even continue when i see people like i'm like okay have you looked at yourself are you done checking yourself like why do you think you can validate me why do you think you are the place where you cannot create a human being you cannot create teddy bear and you think you can tell me that breathes the same air as you how to live my life so there are a lot of things that we all seek validations for okay so even you sometimes you do it subconsciously like you just want somebody to appreciate your work or you want somebody to tell you that you look good today for you to feel nice or you know you want when you go out you want men to look at you more something i don't know let me not even go there okay because that one is not even validation again that was like insecurity like that speaks okay so <laughs> the truth is that nobody should validate you like not even your status in life where you are at not not that not the way you sound not the way you speak not your nothing okay nothing as far as you are you yourself cannot be able to create yourself the person cannot create you they don't have the right okay leave all the rights to the being that brought us here okay he alone or she alone has the right so let's move on this particular one is yet to my heart. You see how long I, I, I took my time. My hand is been... See how long I took my time. This particular one is yet to my heart. Okay, the fourth point he made is monotony and boredom. 
monotony and boredom let me check monotony means i think i checked the word this morning it means like doing the same thing all over over and over again like repeating with sense uh, the same thing today the same thing tomorrow the same thing next tomorrow so let me read it a minute monotony okay oh so the cotton is back again so if you saw part one you'll know that it's cotton monotony means lack of varieties and interests tedious repetition routine okay so human beings like to be to live their life in routine and it's a problem yeah to me are you I, in fact and there's boredom i think i have the issue of boredom and monotony living by routine and boredom so it goes hand in hand some people like their life to be um in routine and some people just get bored from doing the same thing now i i stand in this other side i get bored of doing the same thing over and over again like i don't know it came with me like it's something that i'm yet to figure out where it's coming from i'm still working towards finding out where that part of me is coming from i get bored of doing the same thing like always wake up morning do the same thing tomorrow it makes me sometimes feel like my mind is trapped yes so I always want to think outside the box i always want to do something different i don't know why like it just so happens like i just want to do something different um like i just want to you know i don't like routine so i don't fall on the routine the monotony side i fall on the board okay board on like i get bored from doing the same thing that's why i like to just you know change i just i like to i don't like to repeat so i don't know it's my mind like that is why you see my other channel like i create content for sewing i did that for three years and that is to the glory of the sauce because i don't know how the sauce did it like i just stick to it for three years and i was doing it the passion was there the drive was there and it got to the point where my brain could not take anymore i started thinking outside the box and i started realizing that okay i don't have to just do one thing i am so many person i'm versatile i can do so many things i can be so many things why just stick to one i can be doing all of them if god willing so i fall on that that so that's an issue bottom but then i don't think is it something i need to work on is it something that i don't know please <laughs> help me out i don't know but if you have the problem let me know what we can do <laughs> but then let's talk about the third one uh, the third one the third thing the person has here is unsatisfied longing for more material belonging unsatisfied longing unsatisfied longing for more material belonging i don't think i do i have that problem let's say if generally 80 percent of us in this world has this problem i and they have it 100 percent in their system i will have it 10 percent because because of the way i grew up i I only just get satisfied from the small material things that we had the belonging like my parents had like i got i, I got satisfied I, got, I just had to get contentment because imagine now like 20 something years you have been living like from this background you've not seen i have seen other people have it okay but me for my own side i was coming from nothing it wasn't getting better so i just got used to it and i got contented for it so it did not make me i was never unsatisfied so right now growing up wanted to have some things that but those things were necessity like i needed them like clothes not too much clothes i don't i'm not that person that just have excess clothes and i want more clothes no i have like the normal average like okay i can wear out and stuff yeah so most of these things are necessities food shoe bag i don't go no i don't have any of these things as ss okay i don't do too extra i have never done that of how i grew up so yeah i i am not i don't have that problem of unsatisfied i am satisfied okay i can't go out of my way to get money to just to buy material like something that is just is not in need is a want I, I can't go out of my way for a want yeah i can't go out of my way I did some certain things then when I was in school, just going out of my way, but it wasn't for want. Most of those times I had to go out of my way and do things I was not supposed to do was because of the need. Like it was a necessity. Like I needed those things, even though these days, most of these things that we call necessity are not necessity. It's just been imposed to us as necessity. Yeah. Like we wearing clothes. It's not necessary. <laughs> it's not actually necessary for us to always wear clothes. Okay. So we can all go nude. The things being imposed on us as necessity, I had to get them while I was in school. So I went out of my ways, not a few times, a lot of times for necessity, for need, for survival, but never for want. I 
I am not that person that okay I want this to taste perfume I want this I don't do that because these things are names these things are I grew up knowing that I did not die not having them and most of the times they just keep going out of fashion and more just keep coming up so it was to me it was like an end, endless cycle sorry I'm passionate about this one <laughs> also okay so to me it was like an endless circle that was not ending so i was i didn't want to be in that circle i didn't want to be in that endless rotation i was already in an endless rotation of you know doing other things that was like a lot was happening to me already so i didn't want to add my either greediness or you know those just to have something or just to belong i didn't want that okay i was belonging too much already <laughs> i was already you know it was shit was really happening so yeah the belonging part i just left it for the word and I grew up just having that okay so i wasn't even someone that if i'm dating someone i will push my boyfriend to do some nice some extra shit for me now nah. sometimes i even pity for them in fact i think all the people i've dated they did not know this but i always pity for them like i would want something like not even want it's like a necessity like i need this thing i need money for this thing and i would just look at the person i'm dating i'm like okay this person they did not give birth to this person to come and kill himself for me if i cannot kill myself for myself why him so i just pity for them most times i am that person okay you can hate me if you want it doesn't change the fact that this is how i am okay so i am that person that sorry if i keep taking the mic okay i am that one person that i i always pity for like i just feel like okay yeah it is not even worth it okay if you know what it means to give and receive you know that you you want to be at the part or at the side where you are the one giving not even receiving so yeah the issue here is that in life if you decide to step out of this particular box that we live in that they have, they've succeeded in you know throwing in some scrums because these things are not real and making us look like without this thing making it look like without these things in our life we will not be able to survive or we will we'll not be able to you know climb like a certain ladder in life if you're able to come out from that illusion you'll find out that this is an endless cycle now I don't know if you're in fashion you, you should be able to relate you should take your time and go back to the 80s the 90s like the 60s they see the fashions the things that they were wearing the things that were happening you look at those things 60s 70s and you look at what is trending now i mean clothes wise you see that these things are coming back now the truth is it is rather you stick to having your style and your class and your taste and stick to you know being your true self like there's no bigger flex than that I'd rather you stick to these things than going after trends like trends it's an endless cycle that you don't want to belong to you want to belong to the cycle where you know and you're sure of the things you're doing like you're you're just sure like you're so sure that your style or whatever you're doing never runs out of style like it never runs out of things like you are just you and it's just the authenticity or the authenticity I don't know the English. Stand out than standing in. I always prefer to stand out. If you are following the trend, you are standing in, okay? <laughs> yeah. You're part of the ships. <laughs> oh, okay. So this video shouldn't bring any hate. I am like this, okay? I'm not even as free as when I talk to my friends. My friends sometimes they hate me because I say it as it is. You should never be unsatisfied. Like in life, that shouldn't be like life issue. I think this is the one I can say, I can truly say now count me out of the equation of people that are part of it like that i having this issue in life i am not okay so being unsatisfied longing for more material things is never going to need you will never be ha happy in life because no matter what you keep you get you keep wanting more no matter how you will never if if the physical things are the things that makes you satisfied you will never 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 be satisfied in life so just try and look at life from a different aspect of life and you will love it now, now this is the three four and five of the video from the previous one i played yesterday i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but then this is a continuation and we're done for today let me go film today i must film my content for the other video I, for the other channel i didn't do that yesterday i don't know what i was doing well yeah i'm going to do that right now so i have to sign off this video has gone too long well it is nice seeing all of you that are watching or not watching because i feel like you're not, even, yeah, you're not watching so nice having you not watch my video like this video if you actually like it if you find it interesting like it okay so and if you want to subscribe you have the opportunity by clicking the red button down below subscribe become part of my family here and trust me i think we're going to have fun okay because i don't know this this list is <laughs> something fun okay so yeah more to come oh yeah more to come but yeah i think i'm signing up right now Love and light to you. Peace. Peace.
okay? Coming soon.